Every year, Brentag make over 25,000 successful bulk discharge deliveries to customers across the UK and Ireland. Although site layouts and plant may vary, the bulk discharge procedure must always be followed to ensure a safe and controlled discharge. The procedure follows guidelines issued by the chemical distribution sector. This DVD has been produced to highlight the main aspects of the procedure and to ensure our drivers and customers always walk the line. At the start of their shift, Brentag drivers put on the appropriate uniform and personal protective equipment, then collect and inspect their consignment notes and instructions for the shift. The driver will then log their driver card into the truck's digital tachograph and carry out a vehicle and trailer walk-around check to DFT guidelines. The details on the consignment notes and instructions are checked against the tanker, the correct fleet number, product and legal weights. The checks also include road tanker related items, dangerous goods compliance and load security. Once satisfied everything is in order, nil defects are recorded and the vehicle can depart onto the public highway. On arrival at the loading site, the driver weighs the combined vehicle and tanker in and completes loading documentation, verifying the product and order quantity. If all is in order, the driver will receive loading authority and be asked to proceed to the loading point. OK, drive, you may proceed round to the loading point. Do you know where that is? Yeah, I do, yeah. OK, thanks very much. Thanks a lot, then. At the loading point, the driver meets the loader. The loader checks the documentation yeah, and authorises loading, following site-specific loading procedures. After loading, the driver makes the tanker roadworthy, washes down and applies a security tamper seal. The loader signs the documentation and permits the driver to proceed to the weighbridge. The vehicle and loaded tanker are weighed out and the driver receives a delivery note. OK, drive. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot then. See, See you again. again. Down down down. Down. The details on the delivery note and instructions are checked against the tanker the correct fleet number, product and legal weights. Once the driver is satisfied everything is in order, the vehicle can depart onto the public highway. On arrival at the customer's site, the driver must make himself known to the gatehouse Morning, or plant mate. office, right. where he should present the Brentag delivery note, sign in, confirm the delivery documentation is correct and then await instructions from the customer. Morning off from Brentag, the gate man's told me to come down to see you. I've got your 25 ton of hydrochloric acid, 36% synthesis grade, and it's for tank 10, and this is for today's delivery. OK, I'll just ring operations for you. Hi Martin, I've got a driver in reception with 25 tonnes of hydrochloric acid, synthesis grade, 36%, for tank 10. OK, thank you. If you go over to your cab, Martin will meet you there. Great. Thanks a lot, then. Thank you. See you later. Bye. If the driver has not been to the site before, he may be asked to sit an induction. Hello. Are you Hi. the Brent tag driver with the hydrochloric acid into tank 10? Yeah, that's right. Can I just have a check of your paperwork, please? Yeah, no problem. There you go. Thank you. Right, OK, do you just want to follow me down to the tank farm, please? Yeah, right now. The driver should ensure that he observes all safety measures required by the customer. In particular, he should ensure that all specified equipment, including necessary tank venting equipment, is used correctly. Once the vehicle is in position, the driver will present the Brentag delivery note to the customer along with the final checks before discharge form.
the customer and driver must sign and print their names in Phase 1 to certify that the order is correct and that the storage installation is fit and suitable to receive the load. The customer must then show the driver the correct inlet point, the location of the water hose and the location of the safety shower. The driver should check that the inlet connection is sound and that the inlet pipe is secure before completing Phase 2. The product can be transferred into the customer's storage tank either by using a pump or blown in using compressed air generated by the delivery lorry, as shown in this DVD. If the driver has any concerns regarding the customer installation, they must contact their Brentag depot for advice. The customer and driver should then carry out combined checks to ensure that the UN number on the road tanker placards, the unloading intake point label and the delivery note are all the same product. The road tanker fleet number matches the trailer number on the delivery note and the discharge pipework and tank venting arrangements are suitable. The customer will also confirm that the stock tank has sufficient capacity for the delivery quantity. The customer should then unlock the inlet point ready for connection and the driver should ensure the vehicle is chocked. Before continuing, the driver must change into the approved chemical discharge PPE. This includes full PVC suit, goggles, hard hat, gauntlets and wellingtons. The driver then attaches the discharge hose, firstly to the installation inlet point as previously designated by the customer and then to the road tanker outlet. Both driver and customer must then walk the line and follow the hose from one end to the other to ensure the road tanker is correctly connected to the right unloading inlet point. The customer must then sign and print their name on the delivery note to declare the connection is correct and also sign and print in phase 3 to confirm that the combined checks have been carried out. The driver then countersigns and completes phase 3 to verify that the customer has signed the consignee acceptance box on the delivery note. This is a key part of walking the line with the customer. At this point, some customers may ask for a sample to be taken to check the clarity and consistency of the product. Hiya. Hello mate, you're right. We've got some paperwork to do first before we can unload. Okay. It's just to verify that everything's correct. Okay. Hydrochloric acid, 36% synthesis grade. Yes. We've got 25 tonne of it for you. Yes. There's the order number there. Yes. Right, and it's for today's delivery, yes. 26th, and it's for tank 10. Right. right, yes, tank 10. Right, if I could ask you just to print and sign there, please, just to verify that all the details for the product are correct. Yep. There you go. Thanks. Now, just got a few more things to check before we start offloading. Okay. okay. Yep. Right then, is the unloading point inlet labelled? Yes, tank 10, hydrochloric acid, 36% synthesis grade. Right. Is the inlet pipe secure? Yes. Yeah, that's secure. Is a water hose available to wash out the hoses after discharge? Yes. Okay. Is a safety shower available? Yes. Okay. Right mate, we've got just a few combined checks to do now. Okay. That's alright. Yes. Okay. We've bought you hydrochloric acid, 36% synthesis grade. Yes. The inlet points labelled up yes. like that. Yep. Yep. Just move down to the vehicle now. And the UN number for the product, yes. 1789. Yes. 1789 on the notes, correct? Yes. yes, correct. Right. Right, we're just going to check the tank number now. Okay. HA31? Yes. HA31 on the nose. Correct? correct. Yep. Correct. Right, right, we've checked that now. What I've actually bought you now, it's 25 tonne at 20 kilos of product. Yes. Is your tank got enough room in for that? Yes. Right. Right then, are we okay to carry on? Yes. I'll just get changed. Okay. Now.
it okay to break the outlet seal? Yes. Right then, so we connect it up to the road tank outlet. Okay. We connect it up to the correct inlet point here. Hydrochloric acid, 36% synthesis grade. Yes. I could just ask you to sign and print there in the consignee acceptance box. Okay. There you go. Thank you. We've just got this other one to do. If I can just ask you to sign there, please, and then okay. I need to sign the next one next to okay. it. There you go. I'll just sign the one next to it. That's it. Ready Thank to go now. The driver and customer sign and print to confirm the order is correct in phase one of the final checks before discharge form. The customer shows the driver the correct inlet point and identifies the water hose and safety shower. The driver checks the inlet connection is sound and the inlet pipe is secure before completing phase two. The customer and driver carry out the combined checks. The customer then unlocks the inlet point. The driver chalks the vehicle and changes into the approved chemical discharge PPE. He then attaches the discharge hose to the inlet point, then to the road tanker outlet. The driver and customer both walk the line to ensure the connections are correct. The customer signs the delivery note to declare the connection is correct. He then signs and prints in phase three to confirm the combined checks were completed and the driver countersigns and completes phase three. Sample is provided if the customer requires. Once the hose has been securely connected and all safety checks carried out, the driver should invite the customer to open the installation inlet valve. On confirmation of this, the driver then opens the road tanker external outlet valves and floods the line. The driver must check there is no leakage under gravity from the hose or valve connections before progressing further. When he is satisfied the line is secure, the driver connects the jump hose from the vehicle's compressor to the road tank air inlet pressure supply connection. The driver then starts the compressor and opens the pressure supply valve, commencing the discharge. The driver must supervise throughout the discharge procedure and remain located in a position that has full visibility of the tanker outlet, discharge hose and connections. The customer must be capable of being summoned at any time during the discharge procedure. Okay, then could you open your valve then please mate? Yes. Right, yeah, that's my valve open. All open then, just open mine now. Right, both valves are out, now the line's flooded. Okay. Right mate, there's no leaks or anything, so I'm going to pressurise the tank now. Okay.
The driver invites the customer to open the inlet valve. The driver then opens the road tanker external outlet valves. He checks for no leakage under gravity. He then connects the jump hose from the vehicle's compressor to the air inlet pressure supply and starts the compressor. He then opens the pressure supply valves. The driver must supervise throughout the discharge procedure and the customer must be capable of being summoned at any time. When the discharge is completed, time should be given for the customer's pipeline to be blown clear into the storage tank. The compressor should then be shut down and the air inlet valves closed. The air pressure supply hose is removed from the road tanker and stored. Time should be given to allow the road tanker to depressurize by venting into the customer's installation. The driver should then close the road tanker foot valve and outlet valve. The customer's inlet valve is closed and the hose removed. The blank is replaced and locked. The hose should then be removed from the road tanker outlet, the blank replaced and the outlet security sealed. Before storage, the discharge hose must be washed thoroughly. A signature must then be obtained from the customer representative on the Brentag delivery note to confirm safe completion of the discharge procedure and to establish proof of delivery. Both driver and customer retain a copy for their records. Oh mate, the pressure's gone. I'm gonna shut my valves now. Okay. Okay mate, can you shut your inlet valve now please? Yeah, yeah my valve's closed. Right, the mate's all done. If you could just sign this consignment note as proof of delivery. Yes. And just put the time down as well, please. Okay. There you are, that one's yours. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks a lot. The driver shuts down the compressor, closes the air inlet valves and removes and stores the air pressure supply hose. He then closes the road tanker foot valve and outlet valve. The customer closes the inlet valve. The driver then removes the hose from the inlet valve with the blank replaced and locked. He then removes the hose from the road tanker outlet and replaces the blank and security seal. The discharge hose is washed and stored by the driver.
the customer must sign off the delivery with a copy retained by both the driver and the customer. Brentag UK and Ireland makes safety their number one priority and reminds drivers and customers to always walk the line.